Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Brigade. I'm your host, Brian. And on this show, we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So today we're going to be taking a look at the digital copy of Wingspan. This is currently the beta version, so there are things that could change in the course of the game. Uh, but this is most likely close to what the retail version will be looking like. If you are new to Wingspan, or if you're new to digital games, or if you're new to Stonemaier games, this will be a great opportunity for you to check out the mechanics and how this game plays. I really enjoy Wingspan, although I am not the best. But hopefully we will figure this one out. So let's go ahead and swap on over to the game. So right off the bat, we are here at the Wingspan. We have several things we can do. We can do online play. We can play solo, which is what we're going to be doing. The preserve archive is if we want to go back and look at our past gameplay. Uh, credits, obviously we know that are settings. And then birds. Birds are any birds that we've played in previous games. We're not going to look at that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on play and we have the option to add the Automa. This is the actual Automa that's from the base, the, the actual board game, or we can make a custom game with AI. We're gonna do that. And right now we have a four player game with me being this bird and we have three normal AI. I will let you guys know right now, I have never won against the normal AI. They uh, they defeat me. So we're gonna be this uh, goofy this goofy bird. Uh, after we select our bird, we then get to choose our location of where we're going to play. I think this looks pretty. So we're gonna go there. We can choose the goal mat if we want to do casual or competitive. We'll keep it on the competitive. And then order is currently randomized. So we will then start it up. So I will explain how Wingspan works, and then we will kind of go from there playing the game and I'll talk about what I'm doing. Um, so right off the bat, this shows Wingspan is played over a series of four rounds, and these blips are the amount of actions that we can take <clears throat> in each round. In the actual board game, these these obviously reduce as you see here, but in the, in the retail copy of like the physical copy, you will take one of your cubes and place them on these scoring charts up here. And that's how you kind of represent the reduction of the amount of actions you can take in future turns, future rounds. So obviously we get a lot of actions at the beginning and as the game progresses, we get less and less actions. Okay, so we're gonna go and start. Beginning of the game, we get to choose one of the cards here from the uh, starting five. We also have to choose what type of resources we're going to take so we can decide what these birds going to eat. So let's talk about what the cards are indicating us as we go through. So the top, we have the name of the bird. The habitat is this icon here to the side. So this bird, the common grackle, can live in forests, the plains or wetlands. While the mountain blue bird only lives in the plains, the great crested flycatcher only lives in the forests. So depending on where they they live, will determine where we can play them on the board. The button, the icon right below that is our resource. I'm gonna turn the music down. I just don't know quite how loud it is, so we're just gonna turn it down a little bit, even though I really dig the music. Okay, so right here is the type of resource that these birds are required to play. If there is a slash, because there sometimes could be a slash between say here, that would mean either a cherry or a grub, but this indicates it's gotta be a cherry and a grub. This icon is very common to most Stonemeyer games. It usually means wild. It means you can use any type of resource to fill the first slot, but one of the resources does have to be a grain. So when we're deciding what to start with, we only get to choose five things, that means five cards or five resources, but it's mixed and matched. So for example, if I select, I wanted to keep four birds, it means I can only keep one resource. Alternatively, if we wanted to keep all five resources, I can't select any birds and I'd start with zero cards in my hand. So you're trying to start the game with a mix and match of birds and resources so that you can actually play things and, and do things. Below this uh, icon here, the feather and the one and the three here, four, five, five, these are the victory points that these birds are worth at the end of the game. Usually the lower the victory point bird, the better the ability that the activated ability is. 
and the higher the the ability the victory point the more niche that the card has doesn't mean they're bad it's just they can be more niche and not necessarily as useful all the time okay the bottom thing here this bowl this icon here these are the type of nests that these birds lay in and those will be important as well for victory point tracking at the very top here we can see there are these four cards these four icons these are the scoring tracks for each round so this one says eggs in the planes so basically we're going to be scoring count the total number of eggs your birds have laid in the specific habitat the planes multiple eggs on each bird count so we obviously for the first round we want to prioritize birds that can live in the planes but if you look here this is bird uh, birds that lay on like flat ground it looks like with eggs we don't have any birds that match that logo currently this is just total birds and then birds in water luckily we got pretty good here with our, our bonus points here so these aren't too bad for us to work with okay directly below the the bowl here is the wingspan of the bird these can matter for especially hunters uh, a bird like a, an eagle a hawk uh, they're usually hunting birds and they kill other birds as they as their mechanic and so they will want to target obviously smaller birds than what they are so that's what this uh, wingspan centimeter is directly below that is the alternative um, activations so as we play cards and do things these activate the brown abilities will activate there are that are some that are when played there are some that are once per round and these will come up later and we'll, we'll talk about those uh, later at the very very bottom of the card these little empty boxes are the amount of eggs that those specific birds can lay on themselves okay so that's basically the rundown of the cards and some of the mechanics I will talk about the rest of the mechanics as we play and kind of what we're doing. So first off, what do we need to do? We need to select some cards to go in our hand as well as some resources. So let's read the abilities because right now we know we need eggs in the planes. So let's see what these two cards do and see if they fit. So the mountain bluebird requires both a grub and a cherry. It's worth four points. When played, I can play a second bird in your planes paying its normal cost. That is very powerful. Um, very, very, very powerful, but we want to make sure that we'd have the resources to play two cards at once. So if we selected just these two cards, we could then go say we can do a cherry, a grub, a planes, a planes, a, a, a grain and these two. And then we just would have to make sure that we got some more food and then we could play both these birds. I mean, that's, that's the idea of how that would work. But we might not necessarily want to go that way. Let's see what this bird does. The the great crested flycatcher. So he costs also a, a cherry and a grub, and he gains one grub from the bird, bird feeder if there is one. The bird feeder is the community resource pile. It's uh, a rolling of dice, and that determines what kind of food is currently available to gather in that in the gain food action. This is not bad. I think anything that gains me act, uh, additional um, food to play later is good, but food doesn't give us points at the end of the game. So if you have excess food, if I have a lot of extra food here, um, it doesn't do anything for us. We, have, we wanna make sure we're optimizing our food. Okay, Stellar's J, gain one wheat from the bird feeder if available, and I may catch it on this card. Catching it means I can basically just place the bird, the food on here, and it'll be used later for scoring in the end of the game. The common grackle, tuck a card from my hand, from your hand behind this bird. If you do, lay one egg on this bird. So this bird would give us two points because you get points for tucked cards as well as points for eggs on the card. You also need eggs if you want to play um, additional birds later in higher end tiers. So that's important to know. And the common yellow throat says draw two cards if you do discard one from your hand at the end of the turn. This is very common for birds that are in the water. Very, very common. So I think maybe we're gonna try something a little different here. I think I might take the the common yellow throw because I wanna draw some cards this game. And I might take the great crested flycatcher. I do wanna take this because this ability is so good, but we have to make sure that we have enough eggs so we can, we can take advantage of the cost to get two plays a turn. Um, maybe I take all three 
and we definitely take a grub and a cherry and that might be our five and we're just gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do this I think we I have an, an idea how we might play this game so I think this is the five we're gonna take and we're gonna go and select the next section is now our bonus objectives now these are bonuses that we can try to play for if we want prairie manager birds that can only live in the prairies or birds that can only live in the wetlands and this is basically tells you the percentage of cards in the game that'll meet these requirements 19 percent of birds would match this while 26 percent of birds match this and you could see the point values here indicate kind of why those percentages are a little different we get this is easier to get but we get less points because we already have selected a bird that goes in here, I think I'm going to be comfortable selecting this. Um, but maybe maybe I'm not. Uh, maybe we can do this one too. Um, you know, let's let's live wild, and let's go the prairie manager. How about that? We're we're gonna go and do it. Okay, so right now everyone's taking their turn. So what we're looking at here is each section of the board. It's kind of obtuse. You have to kind of visualize the way it's going to look. But here is the the forest, the plains, and then uh, the final one is the water. Okay, so this is our first turn, our goofy little bird. So we have to do an action. So the way this game works is you have the play birds. We have gain food, which is gaining food here from the bird feeder. We can lay eggs or we can draw cards. To get further along these tracks right here, we can play bird cards to fill those to fill those up. So if we play a bird card here, then this is now activated. So currently, that's why the first tier is activated. So I want to. I think I want to play the Great Crested Flycatcher uh, because then when I go to get more food, uh, he gets me a free food to play this and kind of works me towards getting this guy as well. And I want to make sure I get as much benefit. Uh, to that as possible so we're gonna play so currently we're gonna play him here in the forest and it says this is the food he requires we have that because we selected that great crested flycatcher these birds avoid competition by focusing on insects high up in trees yeah okay so now we're on round two so we now have no food we've got two cards in our hand so we have, we have several options we can do. We can't play any birds because we don't have the food to play any of their costs. We can lay eggs, but we only have one bird to lay eggs on. We could draw a card, but I don't think that's optimizing our turn very well as of right now. So what we're looking at here on now that we're on tier two of the forest section is the gain food action. We gain one dice from the pool and that's it right here. This is what's currently available in the pool. Um, which is not the best for us uh, currently because we really want it to be a cherry. And uh, the way this would work is we want to select a food. There's one grub. We don't want to select a grub because the great crested flycatcher is going to be a champ and he's going to get us that grub for free. Uh, but unfortunately, neither of these can take any of this other food and we can't currently re-roll the food in the bird feeder we don't have an ability and it's not at the proper level yet to do that so what do we want to do wow we really want to we really want to get some food though so i think we're going to take a chance we're kind of playing we're kind of playing to the the planes and and the water right now uh, so i think we're going to do the food action so it's asking us okay what food do you want to get uh, so we're going to get the fish and it's asking us do you want to discard one of your cards to get an additional piece of food because I like both these cards, we're not going to do that. So we're going to say we're going to skip that. But this Great Crescent Flycatcher is going to get us that grub. So we still got our two pieces of food for that round. Okay, so now the bird feeder's uh, been shuffled and changed around. So there is additional food there. So now we have to make a decision, guys. Do we want to... Uh, oh, I guess there, one of these guys played a card that lets us draw a card. So we're going to draw another card. A white crowned sparrow if he says if the bird is the right of all the birds in the habitat move it to another habitat This is an extremely powerful card very extreme. So I always get to choose choose a card I get to do I have to discard a card. I wish I knew what was happening right here um, What card so we're clicking on the other players all players draw one from the deck. I'm assuming that's what just happened um, And then what does this guy have? He's got nothing. Okay. 
Choose a card. I don't know what Sassy's going to do here. Choose a card. I'm choosing this card. Okay, I don't know. I literally don't know what it's telling me to do there. We chose a card. We drew this guy. Okay, well, now I regret not taking a, um, uh, a wheat that last round. We took a fish instead, and maybe that was a mistake, but, you know, we weren't expecting to draw the white crown sparrow. So now we have an option. We can play the common yellow throat here to draw us, or not here, here, and then next turn we can, uh, we can potentially get some stuff. Ah, there's so much stuff here, though, because here we'd love to draw two cards, right? Uh, but we'd have to spend an egg. I think we're still going to play the common yellow throat for now, right here. It costs us one grub to play. Okay, so we went ahead and did that. So we have five turns left. So we still have some food here that's valuable. And, um, but there's no grubs and that doesn't work with us. We really want grubs for this guy. We really want grubs, but we need something. We need food. So we could potentially re-roll here. Um, do we just get rid of this card? Potentially re-roll. We'd have to take the fish. Or we can actually take both. We could take both of these and then re-roll and we just have to get lucky and get a grub. All right, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go here. We're going to select these two. We're going to select that. Hmm, I don't know if we can actually do what I want to do. Do we select this and discard the yellow crown sparrow? And now we get to choose another uh, cherry because we need that. Oh, it's not going to work. This is definitely not going to work. The mechanics aren't working the way I want them to work. And we really wanted a grub. We got burned here. Well, maybe we uh, maybe we just draw cards instead. See if some other people. We maybe we just want other people to shuffle the the board for us. So we'll just draw cards. So when we're in the draw card section, there is an uh, an open tableau of three cards that we can choose from. Uh, this is a hawk that I was talking about. So when activated, roll all dice in the bird feeder. If any are mice, gain one mice and catch it on this card. We have a lazu buttonling. All players lay an egg on any bull bird, and I can lay an additional egg. And this card's a wild. He he uses any nest, so he, he's considered a wild. And I can tuck a card from your hand by this bird if I do draw a card. That's pretty good. We might just take him. That's pretty good. And now we are triggering the brown ability of our other bird. It says draw two uh, cards and discard a card. We're just going to draw two here. Okay, and then it's going to ask us to discard a card. This is interesting. That's an interesting card. We're gonna we're gonna keep that card because it's kind of interesting and it, it gives us more points. But it definitely wants to be played early. Definitely wants to be played early. So now we definitely need to take the uh, gain food action because we need wheat too. Ah, oh, the death of these freaking guys. They're killing me. These guys are killing me. This is really hurting me. The, f the food is killing me. We don't want the, th we don't want the fish. We already have a fish. So it's asking us to discard a card if we want to do another card. I don't want that to be the card. I want it to be this card. This is a very powerful card, not worth a lot of points. Um, so we're going to do that and we're going to shuffle this. Okay, we got our wheat. So we're going to select our wheat. We didn't get our grub though. And this is what I was talking about. These cards being very niche. But we're going to get our, our wheat at least. Uh, we still we really got burned here. We needed a grub. We needed a grub. Yeah, so this guy doesn't do anything. Wow. Yep, so we're going to draw another card here. We got a trumpeter swan. 
Yeah, we got it. Well, we're really hurting here. God, this stinks. No one's gaining food and it's really hurting us. We're to draw more cards. I just, we need to do something here and we're not getting what we need. Um, so this is an either or, a black turn. And we'll just take the black turn for now. Uh, and then we're gonna draw two more cards and we're gonna get rid of this wood duck. Actually, we're gonna get rid of the red hawk. I think the wood hawk is not gonna do us anything. Oh, come on. Where's the what red the red tailed hawk? We're not doing as well as I wanted to do, boys. One, uh, two turns left. We're getting we're, we're getting so someone's already laying eggs. That's what I was. They are just not. They are not gaining food. They think they're purposefully screwing with me at this point. And we have so many f birds that need grubs. This guy can't play him, can't play him. I can only play the black turn, which requires an egg. <sighs> so we're gonna have to lay some eggs here. We'll just do it that way. Not looking good. And I, the, the drawing cards isn't helping us because, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna get no points. And this guy is definitely wanting us to draw a lot of cards. Which sucks. I don't want to draw any more cards. I have so many cards. Okay, black turn. We're playing the black turn. Oh my gosh. I have so many cards that it's like yelling at me. Here we go. So we're using the fish. Black turn is going to eat the fish. Black turn. These turns build floating nests out of marsh plants. Okay, so that's the end of the first round. Uh, we're drawing another card to draw because that guy is like laying a million eggs or something. So here we're gonna get zero points probably. At least we didn't, I mean, this sucks because we're so far behind, but. So the next bonus objective now we're on round two is the birds that lay eggs in this kind of flat land, which only have currently one, he's worth nine points worth a lot of points this trumpeter swan um okay this finally someone just gained food oh we're finally there we're finally there and we can actually i'm okay comfortable discarding some cards here okay so we definitely want um i think we're gonna take the wheat and we're gonna discard a card we're gonna discard this guy because we have we have uh, so many cards we don't need any of these cards and we're going to take the cherry, okay? And then now we get the free grub here from this one. Yay, so we got three food that round. That was a much better turn, much better turn. Okay, so I really wanted to play, where's he at? This guy, I wanted to play this guy because um, Whenever people take the lay action, he, he gets a bonus from that. And I really wanted to play him like five rounds ago because he would be bonusing us a lot. So, well, it's only once per turn, but we really want to get him in as early as possible. So we're going to play him. Choose a food from the bird feeder. Oh, we get the, did someone have, someone must have, uh, this guy here is doing something in his food probably. No. Which, it's this one right here. So he's doing each player gains one food from the bird feeding, starting with a player of your choice. So that's what's happening right now. So choose a food from the bird feeder. Well, we got a cherry. We have a grub. We probably want a grub because we have so many birds that want grubs. So, and we kind of want to take the grubs from other people. So we're going to take that grub. Okay. We definitely want to play this guy, right? Let's see, can we play, do we have that one guy that lets us play two a turn? So we have a cherry and a grub and we have a 
Okay, we can do this. This is great. This is what we were wanting to play this guy for. So we're gonna play this guy. And we're gonna say yes, that's good. These birds can be found from prairies up to alpine zones above tree line. So we're playing this bird, the mountain blue bird. He says we can play another bird in this territory, which we're doing. And then when another player plays an egg, so this requires a grub and a wheat, which we have. And it does require an egg. So we have to find a bird with an egg and use that egg. Ron's cowbird. Cowbirds lay eggs in other birds' nests and often break or push out the host bird's eggs. What a jerk. That's why you notice he doesn't have any nest because he doesn't lay nests all right so we have a cherry and a wheat is there anything we can do with the cherry and a wheat doesn't look like it um so someone did it someone laid a uh do we have a bird oh we do okay here we go <laughs> thank god <laughs> we actually had the uh the right one all right so we got our free egg okay this guy really wants us to draw cards that's so nice of him thank you what do we got? This is a really interesting bird. A rosate spoonbill. Can we play him? No, we don't have the grub or the fish. Okay. So what do we want to do? We have a we have a cherry and we have a wheat. We have a cherry and a wheat. The wood duck is kind of nice. The trumpeter swan is nice. If we can get another wheat, this guy is pretty good because uh, he lets us draw our cards and tuck cards for bonus points. Uh, we would like to get a little further here, um, but we don't have anything that directly gets us there immediately. So I think what we'll do is um, we need to take a card. We're going to take the fish most likely because we have a wild, right? This guy's a wild. Okay, we're going to take the fish. We're going to discard this rosate spoonbill. We're going to shuffle. Okay. Okay, we did have a grub. Okay, good. We got a grub. So we got a fish. Do we need... We're going to get the grub for free. Do we need the cherry? We have a cherry. Probably get the wheat. And then we'll get the... The grub for free. Good. So, in my opinion... Oh, we get to gain one from the bird feeder. So, looking at this, I'll probably get another wheat because we have a we need a, we have a lot of birds that want wheat or grain. Okay. So technically, we want to play this guy at some point because we want to get points on him. I would like to um, ah, this you know this red-headed woodpecker is not as good as I thought he would be. This guy literally doesn't have an ability. He's worth nine points, but he doesn't do anything for us. But he's worth points and we're running. We want to make sure we have points. Where's our wild guy? That's a wild guy and this was the wild guy. Yeah, this guy is pretty good. We're going to play this guy. Uh, oh. I get to lay another egg. Thank you. That's so nice. That's so nice. That guy is giving us our free eggs. That's what we wanted, right? So we're going to play this bird here. And what's asking us what do we want for our wild? We don't want to use all the wheat. We're actually going to use the fish. And then we need a wheat. And we got to use the grub. We want to keep our cherry. Okay. So that looks good. And we just played. We gotta select an egg because he's playing. We're playing him. Red-headed woodpecker. These woodpeckers store nuts, seeds, and insects in wood or under bark. Okay, so we're kind of starting to build our engine. Things are starting to happen, so we need to start considering what is the best thing. Okay, so Brown's uh, cowbird. And when another player takes the lay action, this bird may. Okay, yeah, we know that. We've been doing that all game. Do I have any other birds that... I only have one bull. Good thing we... This guy has more than just two. Because we definitely need to keep taking advantage of that. But we're definitely getting free eggs. It's great. So now we need to consider getting this guy laid. If we want some sort of bonus points, we probably need to play this guy. So we're going to play him. 
and it costs an egg. Trumpeter swan, weighing over 20 pounds. Trumpeter swans are the heaviest bird in North America. Wow. I did not know that. Okay, each player gains a food from, well, of these. I probably will just take this grub. We'll take the grub. So we can play this, uh, this guy. We probably, okay, so I said we're in tur we need how many turns left? And we get to lay all these eggs for free. That's why I wanted to get this guy down so early. We had to get those, it's free, free eggs, and we're going to get a ton of them. A ton of them. Birds, so we want to play this guy if we can down here, but it doesn't actually benefit us as much as we would want to be up here. We've been drawing so many cards off the other people, but we're now we're finally we're finally ground through them. So in terms of points, we want him in the water, right? We want this guy in the water. We'll play him down here in the water. And because we're playing him on this level, this tier, it now requires two eggs instead of one egg Barn to swallow. to play him. Barn swallows once nested in caves, but now favor human-made structures. Oh yeah, they're probably great. So one turn left, so now we have to lay some eggs because that's what we're looking at for the points. We get to choose something from the bird feeder. Uh, we'll just take a cherry. I'm so grateful that the other players have been so nice in terms of uh, letting us. Nice, we gotta, we'll put a one in the wild here. Okay. So we're gonna lay some eggs. We get to choose three birds to lay eggs on. We're definitely gonna do one here. We're gonna do a wild here. Because it's wild, and we're gonna see if any other wilds. We don't have any more wild birds. We'll just lay another one here. Okay, we have four eggs. How do we do? Yes! We got some points. We got some points, finally. We're doing things right. Okay. So we're going to the third round. We're over halfway. And as the game goes, the rounds get faster and faster because we're running out of these activation points. So the final two rounds actually go pretty quickly. So someone did another lay, uh, lay egg action. So we're going to choose a laying egg. We're going to do it here on the barn swallow. Okay. So we could use some food. So we can potentially, we can, we have two options here. We can draw some cards. We can draw up to three cards, which is, I think I want to do that because we draw so many cards here when we draw cards. So let's take the draw card action. We get to draw three cards. Oh, this is super powerful. We'll take this guy because it's so powerful. This guy is worth eight points and he's a water bird. And I think our objective, our objective was water or no, it's prairie. Dang it. Now I wish we did water um we're gonna take some randoms because we really want some prairie birds i think at this point so we get to draw two more cards okay and now we're gonna go down the list i can tuck a card from your hand if i do i draw a card so do any of these so what we're looking for do any of these cards not fit what we're trying to do i think the barn owl doesn't fit what we were trying to do right now so we're gonna tuck them and we're gonna draw a card there we go that's the card we're looking for the next card, I wish, to be honest, I wish it would let me see what it says. So it says draw a card if you do discard a card from your hand at the end of the turn. So do we have to draw a card? We do. We're going to draw a Juniper Titmouse. And then the final card says draw two cards. So we're going to draw two cards. And now we have to discard three cards in total. That's a pretty powerful ability. He's not worth a lot of points, but he's... he's so this card is much better very early in the game because he gets to lay free egg um, that's why it's only worth one point i think at this point i'm not looking for hunting the hunting birds are not worth enough for the tuck effect so we're going to get rid of him and we're going to get rid of the uh, tip mouse and then we got to get rid of one more card right no that's it okay oh we have to discard two cards we drew three you had to discard two But that was great. Look how many cards we filled our hand with. So now, can, you know, the question is, could we play any of them? 
Doesn't look like we can play anyone for free. So we probably need some sort of um, food. So we're gonna take the gain food action here. Oh, I get to lay a bird. Man, I keep, this guy keeps laying birds. Let's go back on this bull guy. Okay, so we're gonna gain some food. We're gonna take the grub because we have a lot of birds that require grub and we're gonna reshuffle the uh, other ones. Oh, these are awful. These are so bad. The fish. Well, we do have a few birds, the kingfisher. The kingfisher is so good, but not. I don't know if it's good right now. Um, I wish we were one more tier. I could have discarded a card. Um, so the wheat. And we get a free grub. Ugh, this is what sucks. So if I take the fish, the fish is the most most logical decision here because we get to cash this wheat and then this guy gets our grub if i take the wheat for ourselves to use then this guy doesn't get an ability or this guy doesn't give us the free grub and we can technically use the fish on one card that's okay it just kind of stinks but we're gonna do it because we're gonna take the fish we're gonna take oh what you may, oh you can oh wow it's a may ability you may catch it wow i just learned something just because you know read your cards you may cash it so i take it we're gonna take it and then this one i'm gonna take the grub that's great that was good so i got us that got us four resources that turn that action that that was good All right, uh, we're not going to take either of those. We're going to shuffle and we're going to take a grub, right? Or do we want a wheat? We want a wheat. Okay, so coming down here, four turns left. And right now it's play birds in total. Where does this guy live? He can live anywhere. We're, we want to play him. Can we play him? Oh, we don't have two cherries. Son of a gun. I don't really want the wood duck anymore. All right. Oh, I have to, oh, dang it. I didn't realize we weren't supposed to lay us and then boom. This, this one card, oh, draw a card, okay. We'll draw cards. I want to play a bird. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not doing the f gain food action. And, uh, yeah, we'll t give the grub. Okay. Although I don't suspect we're going to take much good gain food actions. Um... Okay, the Chipping Sparrow. Okay, so we have um, one grub, two wheat. So we potentially could play the Bobo Link. Lay one on each of your birds with a nest. Uh, I've, wow, actually this guy's super good. And we technically need him. So we're gonna go down here. Super good. Uh, select the bird, so. I have to spit, lay an egg. So we want to lay an egg. We want to stake an egg. Oh, no, no, no. We want to cancel that. We want to take it from here because he's going to relay eggs on all of our birds that match this symbol, right? That we just played them on. Bobbling. Emily Dickinson wrote poems about these birds as rowdy choristers in her church of nature. That's a pretty bird. That's a really pretty looking bird. Okay, so... All of these birds got eggs. So that's why we spent it from here since it was full. Super beneficial. So we're at nine eggs right now. All right. 
This guy, okay, so he's taking another action. Uh, on a nest. We are just making so many eggs here, guys. Super happy. We're doing well. Okay. So let's look at our hand. We, we're still wanting to play as many birds as we can. I could check to see how our opponents are doing. He's got um, in this, he's got one, four, seven. He's got seven birds. This guy's got um, uh, three, five, eight. So eight birds. Oh my gosh. Five, seven, okay, seven. So eight birds. How many birds do we have? Three, six. Okay, we're good. We're going to win this one, probably. Yeah, we're doing good on the bird placement. I think we're doing really well there. So this guy wants... Um, I think we just maybe play this guy. I don't I don't suspect that he's going to get as, many, as much value for us as we'd like. But... I mean, we, we got a lot in the water. Okay, now we need to focus on this. As we come to our final turn here, uh, we need to select a grub. We'll take the grub. Okay. So we're getting ready to enter the final round. We have one more turn left. I'm very happy with the engine that we have going so far. What we need to consider is where we're at right here. Um, so right now we have three birds in that section. We want four birds. So we need to really focus drawing cards and finding birds that can only live in this territory. So we need one more. Okay. So we're going to lay our free egg because that guy is such a nice guy. And um, okay. So I think we're going to draw cards. So here's one right here it requires three wheat and uh, when activated gets a you know, free egg. That's pretty powerful the late game. So we'll take him and two generics. I can tuck a card from this if you do a draw a card. So which card are we definitely never gonna play? I don't think we're gonna play the wood duck. So we're gonna get rid of the wood duck, tuck him and draw another card. Ooh, there we go. Okay. And then we get to draw a card and I get to discard a card at the end. And then we're gonna draw two more cards. We're drawing so many cards. So now I have to discard two cards. That's not bad, but it's pretty late. I don't think we're gonna be doing the, that action as much. This is also pretty good. We're gonna get rid of this guy, even though he's pretty cool. We're gonna get rid of that. Although this is pretty good too. At this point, you know, maybe drawing two new bonus cards and looking at one might be kind of effective. Is there anything else that we're just never gonna play? This guy's got a lot of text, and because he has a lot of text, I'm not gonna not gonna keep him. Okay, we'll let these guys take their turns. So we're gonna need some food, right? I don't think. Yes, we're doing it. And we're already doing really well for round four scoring. We're doing really, really well for round four scoring. Okay, so only five turns left. We're, we're getting low. All players lay one egg on any of these birds. And okay, so I get to lay a bird, an egg. So we'll just do that guy. Okay, so uh, I've got just a grub. Is there anything I can play with for just a grub? This guy requires two grubs. I don't think so. I don't have any just grubs. So we need some food. We definitely don't need any of that food, right? I guess we can potentially take the fish. We could take the fish. We don't need any of these mice. And so we're gonna get three. We're gonna get three, uh, potentially up to five. All right, we're gonna do this, and we are gonna definitely discard 
I hate how it... I honestly don't like how it puts a card up there. Um, we have so many cards to discard. We're, not, we're definitely not playing all these cards, so let's be smart here. The Northern Cardinal, he's only worth three points. His ability is pretty nice, but I don't think we're going to go for it. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to shuffle. Okay. So this will get us uh, the grain. This will get us the grub. So we have to take a fish. Okay. Then we get to lay an egg on any bird. We'll just lay him on himself. This guy gets us the grain. No, 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 don't skip. Take. And this gets us the grub. Not as good of a round as I wanted. I really, really wanted a cherry. And I don't think we have the time to take another action to potentially get cherries. Because, look, we're running out of rounds. Oh, nice. I get to lay a bird with a nest. We'll go with that guy. He hasn't laid an egg, that many eggs yet. Ooh, I get a free fish that I don't don't need to use because we don't really have any fish guys. I mean, this guy, he's worth six points and we use both fish to play him, right? And I, but I, we, we can technically still play him here. No more slots. I guess I can't play them. So this is the edge of the board. Okay, so in the actual board game, there's a little sidebar at the end of the board, which is where we're at. So we've played all the birds that we can. So we can't play any more birds in the water. We really need to focus on our end goal here, too. Um, we don't have enough grains. Uh, we don't have any cherries. We don't have enough. We have enough grubs for this guy, but he doesn't do enough because we really just want to play one of these guys that requires grains or grubs. I think we just gotta take some more food, unfortunately. We're gonna reshuffle. Perfect. Grain. Uh, grain. And then, um, I mean, we're just gonna get a, another grain and then a free grub, right? I mean, do we take the mouse just so that we have a mouse in case anything happens? I don't, we have so much fish. The grubs don't matter. We really, really want grain. Okay, lay an egg. We'll take the grain. And then we'll take the grub. Okay. Still no cherries. Really stinky. No cherries. But we're good now. We can play... We can play... Um... Oh, nice. So we got to choose... Someone chose us to gain a food from the bird feeder. So we can decide, is is it necessary for us to gain a cherry? Or do we want another grain? I don't think it really matters. Because the cherry birds... Um, this one's such a powerful effect, but I just don't think there's enough... There's just not enough time for us. I'm just going to take... The, uh, well, we're just gonna do it this way because you never know. We're gonna take, we just want the grain, I think. Could be wrong. Okay. Three turns left. Uh, maybe I should have taken the cherry. <laughs> okay. I think I want the bonus card, right? The guy gives us more bonus turns. Because we want to make sure I get our goal then. This guy. Oh, we get to lay another? Oh, man. This guy is just giving us so many free eggs. You guys, getting the free eggs has been super nice. Okay, we're going to play this. And let's see. Um, we got to take two eggs. Take it from those two. Chestnut collared longspur. This bird's population dropped by 82% between 1966 and 2015. Okay. So our bonus cards that we drew are breeding manager birds with at least four eggs laid on them. And we get uh, one bonus point per bird. Okay. And then we have birds with these types of nests. I think we're going to take this because we have a lot of wild cards. And I think we, I think it's just worth more for us. We're going to take that. Okay. 
And I think at this point, we're just going to just lay eggs at this point. We just want to lay eggs. Two turns left. I think we're just going to lay some eggs. Now that we have all this food that we don't want. Lay an egg on a bird with a bowl. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay, now we have to lay an egg. We'll lay an egg here. Okay, we're gonna lay eggs. What was our bonus card? I wish I could see my other bonus card. I don't know where it went. I don't know how to see it. We're gonna lay some eggs. What did the bonus card say? A. Hmm. Not quite sure. God, I really wish I knew what it said. These are all the abilities of the cards. I'm just trying to find right now where um, my bonus cards are. I really wanted to review... I just can't remember what it is. I'm, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember exactly what my new bonus card was. There's something with these birds. We're going to select four eggs. So we're going to one, two, three, four. I just can't remember. And none of these have brown abilities, so they don't do anything. One turn left. Okay. Uh, get to lay another egg. So we're going to choose this guy because he's wild. And then we're going to lay some more eggs. We're going to go one, two, three. No, 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 no. We're going to change this. Back. Back. We're going to do one there. We're going to do one there. Two there. Just checking to see what else we have here. Okay. We have 23 eggs light. I hopefully, guys, I think. Uh, okay, we get to lay another egg. We'll take one of that guy. I think we did relatively well. Okay, here we go. We tied with this other guy for first place. We both played all our birds in the water field. Okay, so. We're about to find out the final scoring. Uh, I hope I explained this game reasonably well, explained what I was trying to do, what my thought process was, and uh, hopefully it helps you guys understand how Wingspan is played um, and kind of the thought process that at least I do playing this game. So let's go ahead and see how I did. These are birds, the card amount on the birds. Okay, we tied for first. Uh, bonus cards. And a roll get sweet. We're doing well. Goofy face is doing eggs. We had a lot of eggs. We, this guy had 25 eggs. Tucked cards. We didn't have very many tucked cards, but look at that. 97 points. What do you guys say? 97 points. We did it. Uh, so we could we can check here to see individual points. We could replay if we want to see any replay. I've never actually clicked overview. I don't know what that does. Uh, it doesn't do what I thought it would do. And uh, that's that's wingspan. So we can leave. It's asked us, do you want to save this game? The point scoring, we'll just say yes for now. So that's the digital edition of wingspan. My overall thoughts of the game, it's very enjoyable to play. Um, very soothing. The music is very akin to, to relaxing games like SimCity, if any of you guys have played something like that, where you can just get lost in the music and play in the game. This is available currently on Steam, or at least it will be shortly. Uh, so if you are interested in that, I will have a link down below for more additional information. Thank you guys all again for watching till the end. If you are
are still here for the bonus word. We have a giveaway currently going on for Oathsworn till we get to 3,000 subscribers. So if you're interested in, in that, we'll have a card up here for more information. If the giveaway is still active and we're not there yet, you can check out the uh, information on that video. Talks about how the giveaway is earned and you know additional information. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a comment down below. Um, the word of the day will be polar. So make sure you leave a comment down below. This is gonna be difficult for you guys because what are you gonna say with polar? Uh, down below with the word polar, like a polar bear. Talk to y'all soon, bye-bye.